Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Halloween challenge giveaway entry. This comes from my friend Kelly Earnshaw. She does not have a YouTube channel, but I have done a swap with her before in the past. And she's just been such a great support and a great friend as well. So I'm super excited to see what she's included. So let me open this up. Girl, you're insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's that. Okay, damn girl. Okay, so she included some shred. And there's also something else in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Okay, um, I'm just going to try to push things to the side here. <laughs> so first, she's included some of these candy stickers. These are super cute. They're like pop-ups. I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree. But we have established that Vancouver stores did not get everything that everybody else got. <laughs> Including the island. Don't get that. Anyway. Next. Okay, I'm just going to grab all the stickers that she grabbed for me. These are fun. There's some jack-o'-lanterns and some cats with cauldron. Super cute. Thank you. And then, oh! <laughs> Look at these stickers. These are fun. So they have like a pop-up head to them and they're just those classic monster villains. Monster villains. Movie villains <laughs> or movie monsters. Very cool. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I see is this tiny little box. How cute is this box? Ah, oh, she's got a face on it <laughs> with some googly eyes and then some ribbon. This is super cute. So I guess this is open like this. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, it opens like this. Okay, cool. Oh, fun. She included these cute wooden veneers. Thank you so much for these. I love using wood veneers in my projects. Okay, so I'm just going to go into it. So here is, oh my gosh, I love this bag. Look at this bag. I've never seen this bag before. It's got like an evil looking jack-o'-lantern. It says Hallow's Eve. I love how I love that saying. Hallow's all oh, Hallow's Eve or Hallow's Eve. It says booze and spirits and it's like a shape of a of a bottle. And inside we have some candy or chocolate, I think. Thank you. And here's another one. And then she has ooh what is this? Anyway, the first container, it says rose gold and it's just, oh, beautiful rose gold sequins. Those are gorgeous. And then the next one has rose gold as well, but then, but this time, oh my gosh, they're beautiful rose gold stars. Love those, thank you. Next, still says rose gold. <laughs> Inside it is, oh, they're hearts. They're kind of like orangey hearts. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, it's from, it's by Sizzix. I've never seen this. Thank you so much for this. And then this one, look at these sequins. Oh, those are gorgeous. And there's like, I think like different sizes as well. Beautiful. And then, Last one has some of these seed beads. Oh, I've never seen these colors. Thank you so much, Kelly. These are awesome. Cool container too. And here's another one. Ah! <laughs> here's another one. This one is a green one. Yeah, they must come like, I don't know. But anyway, this one has these mint green. Ah! seed beads so pretty actually i'm just going to take them all out it'll be easier that way so these ones are called green tea and then this one has the sequins beautiful 
And here are the stars. So they're essentially the same as the rose gold ones in a different color scheme. Thank you. These are beautiful. I love them. Here are the hearts. How pretty. And then here is the other sequins. Look how tiny some of these sequins are. Can you see how tiny those sequins are? Oh, I love them. Girl, you did not have to do this. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Okay, so I have been complaining to anybody who listened to me that I can't find me, so she grabbed some for me. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, these are like elusive to me. I cannot find them anywhere. So thank you. And she also grabbed me some glow-in-the-dark glow hands. So thank you. These are awesome. Okay. Oh, she's made a card. Look at this paper. It's got kitty cats on it. Love it. Oh, she made a card. Oh, so cute. Look at this tiny little trim she has on the edge. She has these cute trick-or-treaters and then she has the word trick-or-treat. She's doubled it with some black paper. She stamped it. Oh, she's mixed media this a little bit, yeah? Because I see like different colors in the paper. Did you stencil this? Very cool. And then on the inside, she says, thanks for hosting a challenge. It's win-win for me to help support you and get my button gear to make a few things. I've sent along a few things, some Halloween, some not. Hope you can use them. Talk soon. Thanks for all your inspiration, Kelly. Oh, thank you so, so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Okay, so next. Oh, she has included a little box and it's got, oh, did you use the die I sent you? Is that what it does? <laughs> I haven't actually cut it out yet. Very cool. I love it. So she's included some flowers and one of those dollar uh, tree rings. Oh my goodness, I can't speak because I see chocolate. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. I can always have chocolate. So there's the cute box. Okay, next. What is this? Ooh. So she's included some tool circles. Awesome. Thank you for those. And then she included the bones, which I also couldn't find at my Dollar Trees. Um, I found some different ones at your dollar store with more, but these ones are a little bit more like grungy, which I like. So thank you for those. And then finally we have this bag here. Ooh, it jingles. <laughs> Let's see what's in this one. Oh, I love this bag. These are one of the bags that I picked up because I had to have it, even though I have so many tree picks. Oh, it's a cute little book. Okay, so she's included one of the Hobby Lobby or Dollarama jack-o'-lantern bells. And, oh my goodness, she used one of, I think this is Echo Park paper. I love the ghosties. Oh, oh fun, she made, you did not, oh you did. <laughs> it's an envelope flip book. Sorry, I sent her one, so that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> anyway, she has a green frame and then a foam sticker that says boo. In the middle, she has a big black crepe paper rosette and then a rosette on top of that and then another paper or a cupcake liner rosette on top of that. And then she cut out this beautiful bat. I think that's a Michael's die. Included these big gems in the center. And then included this really fun, fuzzy, furry trim. And then she has the bindings covered in this lime green bat paper. Oh, I can't wait to open this. Let's find out. Okay, so, oh my goodness, so cute. So she has a pocket in the first one where she's included some embellishments. She's made some flag embellishments, I think they're called. Look how cute. 
So she's included one of those Michael stickers and the tiny little ephemera. This is jack-o'-lantern. Oh, what are these fun little sunburst things? Oh, I love those. And then here she has Happy Halloween, some creepy cloth, a uh, felt hat, Wonders of a Witch. These are beautiful. I love them. Thank you. Girl, you need to get a YouTube channel going. <laughs> People need to see these. And then here she has some Michael's flowers and then she created... Oh, does this come off? Can I use this? Maybe not. <laughs> so she's created one of those word charms. It's a spooky. And then, oh, I love the use of the googly eye. She has a black crepe paper rosette and a feather. She's... The binding is really well done. Much better than mine. <laughs> she's got some orange trim. And then on the, she's got some Velcro to stick it all in and inside. Ooh. Oh, these are so nice. There's some 3D stickers in here. Oh, look at that little, little spider with the pom-pom butt. I love it. And then here, what is this? Just a little flap back? Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> They're stamped images. Oh, thank you. These are awesome. So there's a skeleton, a vampire, a mummy, and a scarecrow. Oh, these are awesome. And cut beautifully, too. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second, oh, I love this paper. with the. It's like the witch theme. And with that, she has the witch hat, another rosette and then she edged it with some of that fun fur trim so inside here oh she's giving me some die cuts <laughs> all right so in here i have oh i don't have this die it's actually in my cart <laughs> so that's cool thank you so much for oh i love that ghost oh i'm definitely buying this die <laughs> i'm definitely buying this die <laughs> So, so cute. Oops. And then she has some of these kind of vintage looking ephemera pieces. Thank you so much. Oh, and there is a bat. Oh, they're double sided. Fun. And then here are some more die cuts. I don't know where the bag starts. Oh, beautiful spider webs I can see. Okay, there's lots of like little bits here. <laughs> I don't want to take out. Okay, so here is a skull. And then, oh, look at this pumpkin. That's very cool. It's like a skeleton pumpkin. And then there's some beautiful spider webs out of this foil paper. Where did you get this foil paper? I always end up using gift bags because I can't find it. And then there's a ghost. And then there's some like branches and some banners. Oh, thank you so much. And they're all cut out of red, black, and holographic paper as well as white. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so that goes back into that pocket. And the next one, she has a cute cauldron with some googly eyes and some of those bones that uh, come from a necklace. Love this polka dot paper. I love the papers you used. Awesome papers. And then here she has included some of these cut aparts. Super, super nice. I love these. Thank you. Oh, I love this paper. I wonder what collection this is from. And then next I have, oh, so she, I love how she coordinates like the embellishment with the papers. Cause look how this, she's got haunted house papers and then she has a haunted house. <laughs> and she has some of this rhinestone trim underneath it. And then inside, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you made a bag topper. I, I love you. <laughs> Look it! And it's a shaker. Oh, beautifully done, Kelly. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love these flowers. Where are these flowers from? 
You must tell me. <laughs> she's used a foam flower and some paper flowers. She's used a doily with a black paper, a crepe paper rosette, and some more of that orange trim. And again, she made a shaker. So she's made a shaker, and it's using that Michaels. Oops. I think it's using the Michaels bat dye. I love this. And she's used this spider web acetate. Love it. She's got a sticker that says, things are not what they seem. Oh, beautifully done. I love this paper that you used. Love it. Thank you so much. And then lastly, she has a pocket in the back as well. She has one of these big pumpkin stickers. I believe they're from Dollarama. She's got some pom-pom trim and she has a pocket back here and here. Oh, are these, these are tarot cards. And you send me the one that says death. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, I love them. Thank you. This one says the hanged man. Oh my God, these are awesome. And justice. So Kelly, thank you so much. You did not have to go this far. Do really appreciate it, of course, though. And everyone, thank you so much for watching. As always, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and until my next video, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.